Catholic School e-learning. The big idea we will be exploring today is training principles. For this session, you will need to have watched the big idea video on this topic first. Before beginning this session, try to find a quiet place where you can focus and aim to have a pen and paper to hand so that you can note down your ideas. By the end of this video, you will have recalled the four main training principles, considered how to use different types of training within an athlete's training program, and analysed how this can be used to improve performance and fitness. Let's look at our big idea, training principles. We looked at the principles athletes must consider when designing and executing their training session. Can you match the blue keywords with the correct statements. How does our big idea link to your learning? Training is very important to improving your performance. It's essential that training is planned and executed the right way in order to get the desired outcomes, which is why we're learning about training principles and types. You should be able to identify a weakness in your own performance and create an effective training program which would improve your weakness and your performance. A training program which will consist of the training principles and types as discussed in our big idea. You should be able to design individual training drills which will be tailored towards improving your own weakness. Please go to YouTube and type full training session individual training and then click on the first video you will see a footballer talking through his individual drills to improve his fitness and football skill levels now let's work it out can you think of a weakness in an elite athlete's or in your own sporting performance how would we improve this weakness through training of course so the questions I'm asking you are, how would you apply the training principles over six weeks period training program? Which types of training would you use and why? Can you design a drill that is specific to improving your weakness? So how would I apply the training principles over six weeks period training program? Now I'll think of the four training principles in specificity, progression, overload and reversibility. So over the six weeks program, I'll make sure my training is specific towards my weakness, which is dribbling in football. So all the training that I'll do will be specific and ta tailored towards improving my dribbling in football. So for example, I'll try to improve my speed, I'll try to improve my agility, I'll try to improve my ball skills or close control with the ball. Um, and that is how I will be specific towards dribbling in football. I will also make sure that my training program over the six period would have overload and progression so i will gradually increase the amount of time that i will train the amount of frequency so the amount of times in a week that i will train the intensity that i will train so for example at the start of the six weeks program i will work uh, at a moderate intensity towards the end of the six weeks program I will train at very high intensity and I will train for maybe three, four times a week. I will also make sure that reversibility won't happen. So over the six weeks period, I will make sure that I will keep training and I won't have a break. Unfortunately, if I get injured, then obviously I would have to take a break. But if I'm fit, I will make sure I train for the six weeks and I will make sure that I can see an improvement in my performance, especially in dribbling. Which types of training methods would you use and why? Now to improve my dribbling I would want to improve my speed and my agility and obviously ball control. Now the best type of method or of training would be interval training. So 
I can work at a very high intensity, short burst dribbling, keeping the ball close to me, working on my speed and my agility, followed by a short period of rest. So I can then therefore improve my ability to go past defenders. Now, I believe this is the best type of training to use to improve my dribbling skills, my agility and my speed. As you can see here, I have designed a dribbling drill to improve my ability to go past defenders when dribbling with the ball. So in the picture, you can see there are two line of cones. That's the area that I'm working in. The defender will pass me the ball. I will then try to go past him and then score in the goal behind me. Hopefully, this would improve my ability to go past defenders as I'm practicing different skills to try to outwit my opponent. This is just an example of a drill that I could use in training to improve my dribbling skills. Let's consolidate your learning. Let's have a look at the different types of training you could use to improve your weakness. Using the example in the table, can you analyse the three different types of training explaining the advantages and disadvantages? You should be able to link your weakness to the right training type. For example, if you wanted to get a more powerful shot in football, you'd want to improve your power. You can improve your power using weight training over a six weeks period. Pause the video and complete the table. Great work. You have successfully recalled the four main tra training principles, considered how to use different types of training within an athlete's training program, analyse how this can be used to improve performance and fitness. Well done.